All right, what's happening, y'all? Let me roll up my windows real quick. All right, so today we're going to be talking about what I think about the red pill, right? What I think about the blue pill. So, in my personal experience, this red pill, right? This, this is the dogma, right? And I get it because I was there and I was young, right? And this is this is for young guys, is to. Hey, sleep with as many girls as you want, stack your money up, and realize how shitty women can be. Hey man, that's cool. That's cool. And usually younger women are, and that's fine. And usually young men are too, right? But to categorically put a group, a gender of people, right? So let's say half the population, you know, the numbers are whatever it is half the population half dude dude you're putting half the population into this this bucket of everything that you're defining sad so what i think these guys that are red pilled that are now red pilled the reason that they are red pilled now is because they were blue pilled and and what happens is that when you have resentment, resentment turns to hatred. So when you have this resentment towards women and, hey, I wasn't this guy and, you know, like I was before and I figured it out and now I'm red-pilled and now all women are bad makes... Dude, you look weak. There's this dude, uh, Rich Cooper. I hope that I can actually have an interview you know, with him, I hope that he would, you know, maybe do a podcast, whatever it is. He is smart and understands it, but he's feeding on these young males that, first of all, nowadays and just in general, sex is so prevalent, but because you have the internet, you don't have to go down to the you know, to the shop and get yourself a magazine or whatever it is. So it's it's right in your face and these these young cats think that I can get that, I can obtain that and when they ask a girl out or she cheats on them or, or whatever it is, now all women are bad and they find this guy that talks about how women are all bad and and that's kind of the stigma that's put out where he'll even say that I was in the situation where I was dumb, I got married, she screwed somebody or something happened to the dude. I don't know, dude. Whatever happened to the poor fella that uh, now he just wants to sleep with women and he talks about being alpha and all this all this silliness, right, to me. You, you can have good points, right? But for me, I think that when you go from blue to red, it's hatred. So if you were always red-pilled, right? If you had always had that, you have to be a man, this is what men do, you, you aren't going to hate women, you are going to understand them more and develop more of a respect for them over time and realize the sentiment that women bring in your life. If you were always this way. If you go from blue to red, Dude, you are going to have so much hatred for women, just in general, from all the things that they did to you, and now you're finally, your eyes are open, and oh my God, I can't believe she'll, you know, I mean, sleep with me on the first date, and I always thought that you had to wait, and you can treat them like this, and, and they'll stick around, and blah, 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 like all this, all this craziness all this craziness and it's not wrong i'm not saying that it's it's wrong it's that it's applied in a way that is fixated on the temperament of hatred right so that sorry for that long pause the, the temperament of hatred, right? So there's a thin line, a thin string that he's he's now balancing between hatred and realizing what's what's right. And hey, dude, you have great points, right? Some of the stuff I agree with that as a young man, 
yeah, you should focus on your career and not let females get in your way. But to me, it sounds silly when you say females or you, you say women, don't let women get in your way, blah, blah, blah. Don't let people get in your way, dude. That's what it is. Hey man, I'm not gonna let people get in my way. I'm gonna do my own thing and I'm gonna hustle hard and I'm gonna work and I'm gonna go to school or I'm gonna find a trade or I'm gonna find a hustle or I'm gonna be a good speaker or I'm gonna learn from experience. Whatever the case is, I'm gonna work on cars and nobody's gonna stop me, not even my family. But since it's caveated to uh, women, right? Like, hey, don't, instead of don't let anybody stop you, hey, don't let women stop you. Hey, don't, don't get in the relationship because women are bad, right? It's just, it's, hey man, why don't you have enough sense to understand that women can be good, women can be bad, men can be good, men can be bad. Some people that are good for some people can be bad for others. And other people that are bad for others can be good. It just is so blanketed in, like I said, this bucket, this arena of all. And all is silly. And all is ignorant. And all is categorically inclined to appeal to everything. So when you say all, you can't be wrong. And it's weak. It's a weak argument, in my opinion. If you say all women, it's weak. And she's, you know, she's doing this and all women do this. It's weak, bruh. Come up with something good, dude. Come up with, come up with something better. Okay, so this is part one. Let's get part two in a second.